okay, but we have yeah. we have bars already, and bars are already set up for a human person to be in, and not for a giant espresso machine to be in. If you your goal is in fact directly replacing the jobs of every human in the world without changing any of the infrastructure around them, which I don't know why that's your goal, but if that's yeah. your goal, <laughs> then you do. Then the humanoid robot is the way to do that. So, <laughs> right, right, but but yeah, but you're still kind of premising this on like a yes. very weird <laughs> assumption of like we're going to replace all the people, but not redo any of the infrastructure and it's all going to be robots and the robots are going to be trained by well, ai because infrastructure is hard is the thing so and not fun and not fun and sexy like humanoid robots so <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah i mean that's a oh, real god consi- it's a real consideration it, 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 it is deeply a, i understand that because it's, yeah like when it's like infrastructure isn't fun and sexy in, in a weird way my brain goes to california wildfires which are all caused by our infrastructure failures in the electrical grid because mm-hmm. nobody thinks that maintaining infrastructure is cool and sexy anymore and it's just like they never did it's just <laughs> that we actually had a government that paid people to do it uh. but yes, now all all production is controlled by startups which are controlled by hype as we've discovered so everything yes, has to be yes cool and sexy cool and or sexy. you at least need a person in front of it who can make who can talk like it's cool and sexy where where's the cult of personality around infrastructure maintenance where where's my sam altman for infrastructure <laughs> maintenance <laughs> Uh, where, where's my charismatic personality that makes infrastructure maintenance sexy again 